I was looking around at everything and I just didn't see him somehow. Alright, where is the stupid death point? There. I'm gonna try to get there. Get all my stuff. Ah, uh, was I near lava? I don't even, I don't even remember. Uh, stupid jerk angry zombies. I don't like you angry zombies. Ruin my day. Ruin my day, angry zombies. Oh my goodness, they're all over the place. I'm never gonna make it out of here. Oh, don't blow up my stuff. Ugh. Yeah, blow them up. Ah, that's fine. Okay. I don't have a sword, but I do have an axe. <sighs> okay. I'd say I handled that pretty well. I mean, you know, not the initial death. Alright, so... Come on, I need to get the rest of my junk back. Here. What do we got going on? Ah, I'm so paranoid now. Alright, let's try to get back. Uh, let's light this up real quick. It looks like a nice place to hide for now. Uh, so that I can try to get organized better. There, okay. I declare this space to be safe. Put that there. Oh my goodness. Frightening. Oh, maybe I should think about the possibility of having a weapon on me. Okay. Alright. We can do this. It's all good. I do not have enough gem stuff to make a sword, but I have enough stone, so it shall just have to be a stone sword. Um, I don't care about most of it. Alright. I see you, baddie. Oh, hey, villager zombie. <laughs> Alright, how do I get home, guys? I see torches over here. Okay, this looks promising. This direction. Yes, I remember this. I had to come through here. but And then it will go over here. I remember all of this. I know I'm probably doing this the very, very hard way. Oh, I almost jumped into that lava right there. That would not be a great idea. So many zombies. I just want to get back and finish my research with this redstone. Okay. So where are we going? Not this way. It's got to be this way. Oh yes, this is right. Oh come on, right next to lava, really? Alright, and I see you. You think that you're sneaky. Ah. Oh, there's another guy. Eh, eh, I need to eat. Ow. Ow. 
shoot, there was a... I think it was right there. I don't know. Oh, goodness. Alright, eat once more. Get my health back. Doesn't look like that way is right. The torch got ruined. And now I don't know how to get home. Because I keep forgetting to mark my house. There's light over here. Is that from lava? Or... Of course it is. I'm out of torches. I want that and this. Okay. Oh, look. Okay, so if I follow these this way. Right? Then what? And then I'm back here again. Am I supposed to swim up this water, maybe? Let's give it a shot. We're going to swim up the water and hope for... Oh, I do see light up there. I vaguely remember all this cobblestone next to all this water. I do believe I am onto something here. And I saw, saw something. I wonder if this is like a shortcut out. That looks like the surface right there. No, don't fall. All right, we're going to need this. This is a neat trick here. So we're going to swim up this water. And what you can do is, wow, that is weird. What you can do is if you're going to start, or if you're going to, um, run out of breath, you just hit this and you get your breath back. But in the water breaks the torch right away. Alright! So that was cool. Now we just gotta figure out where my house is from here, which shouldn't be as difficult. I hope. I'm, I'm just... I have to remember to mark my stupid house on the mini-map. Because, uh... Can I just hit this and see the reeds that formed? I could swear that that spot was near... The death spot was, like, not that far from my house, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, there it is. I was, like, right near it. All right, so let's finish up that research. Okay, just put this in here and leave it on cursory. And there it was. I was right. It was redstone that I needed. Okay, and I did not have enough to do it, but there we go. Alimentum. Alright. The substance throbs with fiery energy, and it is more than eager to release that energy at the slightest bump. It may be unstable, but it would probably make a good source of fuel. Yes. Alumentum. So then we'll research this again, because this is probably going to be Nitor here. Okay. Okay, and we'll put torches, because I think... Yep. Lux is going to be needed. Yep, there you go. That's Lux. Torches are pretty cheap, so whatever. And Ignis... Which Cole has, I believe. Okay, so um, let's see. Get more charcoal, because charcoal's pretty much the same purpose there. Except that actually has lignum too, apparently. Alright, so make more torches. We are almost done. With our second research item. Here we go. Come on, there we go. Nitor. I was right. The glowing flame. This glowing flame seems to be fueled by magic itself. The number of uses for an ever-burning flame seems endless, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to produce much heat, though it could prove to be a steady source of light and energy. Research complete. All right, so we're in pretty good shape. We've researched a couple of things. Um, 
I'm definitely interested in... Oh, we should also make a wand, and then we'll probably call it the end of the episode. Do I have gold? I have some gold on me. Alright, so for a wand, you need... You need a gold nugget, okay? And one of any shard. Thomcraft shard. Okay, so get some nuggets. Alright, and you need a stick. And you put the stick in the middle with the gold nugget at the bottom and whatever shard you choose up there. Now, the see it has durability. One of, I really would love to know how to get rid of that, but I don't know. Anyway, so you put your wand and it will absorb the aura in the area. See, it's no durability, but when I pick it up, and put it in my hotbar or even in my inventory it just fills right up there you go holds 50 beasts okay and this is used with the cauldron which I should be able to also make right now okay which you make into a crucible okay and let's uh, get some of this stuff stored shall we all right, we'll cook that and this. Let's put this in here. All right, so um, let's see. We can store this, this, a bunch of this stuff too. Okay, so what you need, you need lava, okay, which we have plenty of. And lay eggs now that you are grown, please. Lay your eggs. So you place your cauldron. Um, it doesn't really matter where you place it at first. Let's just, I'm not that worried about all this lava. We'll do it, we'll do it right here, okay? Um, and then you just use your wand on it and it becomes crucible and the wand recharges. All right, so uh, let's see, I'm gonna take this out and just place this lava right here because we need water. All right, so what you do is you just put water into your crucible like that, and it will come to a boil. It doesn't take long at all. There you go, it's boiling, and then you just put things in it, um, which you have to research, though. But, but um, we are going to need a thomonomicon, I believe it's called, which we don't have yet, and I need leather for it. I need two more leather. Um, and that will show us like the recipe for elementum and so on and so forth. So, um, that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, hopefully, we'll be able to get some more leather, get the Thaumonomicon, maybe figure out some alchemy stuff, do some more research. Good times, good times. But uh, thanks for watching.